Hey everyone, I'm Mohamed, and a few easy and simple steps I will show you how to deploy Nginx Ingress in your Kubernetes cluster. So I assume that you already have some experience with Kubernetes and familiar with its concepts. So I will be focusing on deploying Nginx Ingress through this tutorial. Okay, what do I have in my environment? I have in my lab few VMs running Linux CentOS 7 with Kubernetes version 1.20 installed, running on Cryo version 1.20. And if you are already familiar with Ingress and what, in, what is Ingress, you can skip this part and get directly into the demo. Otherwise, stay put. So what is Ingress? Okay, Ingress is a reverse proxy server for your Kubernetes environment. And it allows your pods and your services to be um, accessed directly from the outside using, uh, for instance, uh, host names that you are defining in your uh, DNS server like using uh, uh, FQDN, instead of using the IP address uh, appended by port number of one of your um, Kubernetes uh, nodes, worker nodes, I mean. So with Ingress, you no longer need to expose the services as um, type node port. You can only use the default service types, uh, the cluster IP services. Ingress also works as uh, and has some load balancing capabilities depending on the Ingress controller you are uh, using in your environment. Some of them are free, and open so based on open source projects. Other are uh, paid. Uh, you can get Ingress controller from F5, for instance. And because Ingress is not... Um, by default shipped and deployed automatically with Kubernetes, you will have manually to install um, an Ingress controller of your choice. So let's uh, go now to the demo and start the deployment. All right, so I have organized all of the necessary steps in, uh, in an article on my uh, blog, so we will be going through, we will be uh, performing the uh, deployment using these steps. Okay, so let's begin from step number one by downloading the binaries of Nginx Ingress. Okay, um, here I'm logged into my Kubernetes cluster and let's uh, discover what I have. So I have four nodes now. Okay, um, I'm here on the root directory. Let's. Okay, first things first. Let's download the binaries of Nginx by cloning it from GitHub. Okay. Also copying both of those, both of these commands here. Let's give it a moment to download. Okay. Okay. Great. So right now I'm inside the directory of the manifest files. And by the way, we will be deploying the ingress controller using manifests. Okay. Uh, what's next? Okay, now the following few commands will be creating and preparing the resources like the namespace, service account that will be used by the Ingress controller. Okay, we'll be preparing also, we'll be preparing it for, uh, for supporting uh, TLS. Okay, and always make sure that the deployments are created successfully. Okay. What's next? Okay, in the following um, 
step, we will be preparing the ingress class. And by the way, the ingress class file needs to be, uh, the, the manifest file, the YAML file needs first to be um, amended in case that you need ingress, um, the Nginx ingress to be your default um, ingress controller. And I will be doing this. Otherwise, uh, you will have to uh, declare it in um, as an annotation in the YAML file of your um, ingress um, YAML files. Okay, this file here needs to be altered. I'm already on the same path. Here it is. I will be commenting this and that and make sure that the indentation in the ML file is correct. Okay, I think it's fine now. Okay, let's now. Okay, it should like look like this. Let's now apply that YAML file. Create it successfully. Okay, what else? We will be preparing some custom resources for the load balancing capabilities in case that you will be using Nginx uh, load balancing capabilities. Everything seems to be created correctly. Okay, what's next? All right, now we will deploy the Nginx components. And by the way, um, you can deploy Nginx in two uh, types either as a daemon set or as a deployment. In this tutorial, I will be deploying it as a daemon set because I prefer to have um, an instance of ingress um, on each of my uh, nodes. And by the way, it will be deployed on the worker nodes only as it, it can't uh, tolerate the taint of the master uh, node. If you'd like to have an instance of ingress also installed on your master node, then you will have to add a toleration uh, for this in your in the YAML files. You will have to amend the YAML files prior to the deployment. Okay, now it's been deployed. Um, let's go and check that everything has been deployed successfully as in this uh, screenshot. So. Let's go back here and um, kubectl get namespaces. A namespace has been created for ingress components. Let's get everything in in the namespace nginx ingress. Okay, uh, one more thing. I'd need to get nginx the ingress class okay so um, the namespace has been has been created all of the pods have been uh, created successfully and running in a good health and each is on uh, every each of them is deployed on one of my worker nodes I have three worker nodes in my cluster okay um, the daemon set objects as well as the ingress um, the ingress class. Okay, so everything seems to be fine. We can go ahead and test that Nginx is running and by default there is a default landing page uh, for Nginx uh, which is also called the Default backend service. Let's go to any of my nodes. Uh, Cryo03, for instance. Okay, so this is the default landing page. In case that um, there are no ingress resources created or the ingress resources you have are not matching any of the deployed workloads. Okay, what's now? Okay, let's create a couple of pods using 
ingress okay so i have here in my environment um i have um a chart that is ready to be deployed i, I will be deploying it using uh, helm helm is not covered in this video tutorial but anyway you are free to deploy your workload with the using the method that you'd like to so i will be having a pod let me show you here i will be deploying um i will be deploying a pod a service to expose that pod a cluster uh, ip type service and an ingress okay so let's go one step up to use helm okay if i use helm list i have no helm releases uh, deployed right now okay i will use helm install I will be calling this one. Let me check uh, the image that will be used. Um, color blue values. Okay, so the image I will be using it will be having um, a, a static web page that shows uh, a blue color. Okay, and then I will be installing another one having a green color page web page from another um, um, image okay so helm install color blue okay i will be calling this release i will call it blue and helm will take care of the deployment okay deploy it perfectly let's amend this one and deploy another one but this time i will be using the green the, uh, image and i also change the label this label will be used to map um, the pod to the relevant service okay let's let's use the same command but this time i will be calling my deployment green okay using the same Okay, great. Helm lists. Now I have two deployments, green and blue. Let's get, let's check the pods. Okay, I have a blue pod and a green pod, and all are running in a good uh, state. Let's get the services. Okay, I have a blue service and a green service again with the type cluster IP. What else? kubectl. Cube CTL get ingress get ingress. Okay, great. So now I have ah, you shouldn't have seen seen this, but uh, anyway, um, let me delete this code. Quickly, Ingress. I just want to remove this for now. I will be creating it in a few moments. Okay. Okay. So again, here we have two ingresses. Okay, and one of them will be listening for requests coming on this host name, and the other one on that one. So let's go ahead. Go to web browser and try this here. HTTP. Okay, now okay. So now we have this one working properly. So this page right now is hosted on the blue CTL. Hosted on my blue. Pod. Okay, let's try the green application. Excellent. So it's also pointing to my green pod. Okay, what else? Let's inspect one of these ingresses. So kubectl describe ingress. Let's first this. Any of those. Both are identical except for some values. Okay, so again, it's 
it has some information about our ingress deployed in the default namespace. I didn't specify one. Listening for hosts on that URL or for that FQDN. And it's pointing to the backend service, the service called Blue Service on port 80. And this is the IP address of our uh, service. What else? Let's edit it and see what's inside. Okay, here we go. Okay, so again, as you can see, similar information and nothing more is interesting in here. Okay, um, what else? So let's try something. Let's deploy an ingress resource that points to both uh, both of my pods instead of having two ingresses. So let's um, examine this ingress YAML file here. Okay, so this ingress, once deployed, it will be pointing to both of my green and blue deployments. So I have two sections here. So in, in the rules, rule number one will be receiving requests for a host that I am calling color one, and color one will be routed to the service of the green pod. The second rule here will be listening for requests coming to color two, and it will be also forwarding. It will be also doing the same as rule one. It will be forwarding the forwarding the traffic that is coming for color two to the service, the backend service. Look, so let's deploy. This one, oops, kubectl apply dash f color ingress. Okay, successful kubectl get ingress. Okay, now we have that one here, and it's bound to the ingress class nginx, which is pointing to the ingress class nginx. Let me get it once again. Ingress class. Okay, so this ingress class resource is pointing to the ingress, um, the nginx ingress controller. And if you can see here in the details that an ingress resource is bound to a class. A class here is it, it means the ingress class. This means that your ingress resource is successfully. Um, integrated and bound to your ingress uh, controller, which is Nginx in our case. So, okay, let's get back again to our web browser and let's try uh, the other URLs. So, H HTTP, this one here. Okay, voila, it routed the traffic to the green deployment. Okay, let me change this to number two. HTTP again. Here we go. It has also routed the traffic successfully to the relevant deployment. Okay, great. Uh, I think we are done here today, and on the same article here, you will find um, a sample for um, the YAML file used for the ingress. You can reuse it. And also the file, the final ingress um, resource I have deployed for both the green and the blue uh, web pages. Okay, that's it for today. I'd like to thank you very much for viewing and I hope that it's been informative. Good day.